So we move on to my bike next. This is mid 90s bike, and I want to upgrade to 11 speed on the back. Put a single ring on the front. Already done that a while ago. Love that. So race face one. So yeah, my basics today is upgrade to 11 speed. So change the sprocket and put a new hanger on, new selector at the front, and hopefully that should be it. Up to the workshop for this one because I've got to, this is the tool to undo this but of course when you go to undo it look see so I've got to stop that from turning now there is a fancy thing you get with a handle on and it's like a chain so what I'm going to do is try and replicate that with a chain in the vice stop this from turning so I can undo that stand by I have no idea if this is going to work but it's definitely worth it going all I've done is, if you can see that, clamp both ends of the chain in the vise, walloped it around that, and as I turn it, I'm sort of hoping that something undoes. Anyway, we'll skip this a while. Can only break something. experiment so I've got an old vice and I've clamped the chain in the vice with a view to possibly holding so stand by for this one give way that worked cool no idea what's going to fall out of here it's a bit of crusty grease that's my new uh, shifter put that on a minute the chain Sprockets. It's a bit different. <laughs> be able to pull wheels or bills now. Impressive. Thank you. 
Drop fish. Right, back in the den. I've got to do this chain. It's got to have some links to go with it because that is way too slack. So, turns out there's a missing link tool, isn't there? Which I haven't got. I'm struggling to get this to go on. They say you can do it under pedal pressure, but this one isn't playing with me. I do believe we have done it. Excellent, you can see that. Just there, look. Clipped it in place and nothing's bent, so that's good. So we have got pretty smooth drivetrain actually, that was so quiet. I was actually quite impressed with that. Oh, I can undo that slightly. Now on that. Well, I'm quite impressed with that. So we've got the Shimano Dior 11 speed rear shifter. Can't remember the uh, numbers on that one. Uh, Shimano Dior 11 speed shifter, so rear mech shifter, which looks new cables, new 11 speed chain, that's non Shimano, new 11 speed cassette, that's a non Shimano cassette, and then I did a one by drivetrain, you can see that with a race face, I think that was a 30 tooth cog, and actually, to be fair. 32 would have been more than enough especially now I've got this dinner plate styled cog on the back just an absolute monster so actually that's gone really smoothly and I didn't expect that at all this mid 90s bike with a uh, an old 24 speed so it'll have a triple chain ring on the front 8 speed on the back and I'll convert it to a 1 by 11 and so far not one hiccup if you fancy doing that, that's a fairly straightforward conversion, I would say. I would happily do that again. So all in, you're probably looking at maybe about 200 quid's worth. For me, going from 8 speed up to 11 speed, that is with new components as well. New cabling. Ah, I'm well impressed. So all I need now is a little test ride. I think the next conversion for this one will be convert over to um, disc brake rims. So I've got the rims. But that's for another day. So I'll give you a little sneak peek to uh, what's next. So that was the rims I got. And then in this one, a hydraulic disc brake, a BLMT200. So there's one front and one back. So one's at 1000 and one's at 1700. But oftentimes you have to bodge about with them. But safely to say, Another successful modification. I have a test ride. My daughter wants to go out on a bike ride tomorrow. We're on a new, her new bike, which um, I did a video about. So we will go out together tomorrow and have a little bit of a bike ride. Thanks for watching. See you next time.